God, he went in on he went in on Victor Sharp. Like, holy shit. Vic's having a meltdown today. Can you imagine how many Xanax? By the way, I was listening to this nigga was taking Xanax just to get through the baseball game. I was taking Xanax to get fucked up. I mean, I guess it was somewhat to get through stuff. You know, it is kind of a cope, I guess. Yeah, but like it was just regular shit. Like he was just going to the game. He's thinking somebody's going to kill him at the baseball game and shit. He's taking a Xanny, like more than one, like a ton. I'm like, what the fuck? Well, this guy, I mean, I know how his life is then. What the fuck? If this guy's on Xanax like that, like, trust me, I know all about it. And I don't know anything about it now. But, uh, yeah, I do know how that goes. This guy's unstable as fuck. <laughs> this guy's unstable as fuck. He doesn't remember a lot of shit. And, and probably shit he doesn't remember, like, fucks with him too, you know. And he's got this... It can really fuck with your life, dude. And the way he was taking Xanax... I'm just saying... I'm I'm hearing that, reading that. I'm like, dude, okay, well, not only are you a weird homo fucking creep, <laughs> but you're te- you're fucking chewing down Zannies like that on top of it. No, but yeah, the the segment he did on him was just brutal. I was watching it and I was like, damn, he's going in. You just know Victor was having a fucking just freak show meltdown too. I can't. More Ultros tapes. Ultros files drop number three. Let's well, see yeah, that's what, what I was here. thinking. That's uh, why I was glad he did it. Rizzo and Chat says it was the first time hearing the Victor Sharp deep dive for a lot of people, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Now, we covered it, and we put all that stuff out there. But, you know, that was only like one or two shows a year ago almost. You know, eight months, however long ago it was. So it's like, maybe you heard it, maybe you didn't. The really plugged in people did, but the people just joining today for the Russia shit and some of the more like general viewers who just join every once in a while, they probably hadn't heard it. So that was like a megaphone he blasted off on this fucker today because that was a bigger crowd even, you know, a little bit inflated from his normal show, even Nick's normal show. Yeah, and so he kind of put that message out to everybody. This guy can't even go see a baseball game. What a fucking faggot. I wonder if there's a baseball game here tonight. I'd like to go see a game. They sell out here, man. Their team is good. I can't even fucking get tickets. The fuck? Uh, let's let's keep this bitch's way lower. It's kind of driving me crazy. At six. They have one at what? Five tomorrow. Anything good in these? Maybe I'll go see a ball game for Vic. You know, I'll pick up the slack for you, buddy. Maybe I'll go enjoy a ball game here in the great country of Mexico. Go watch the home team here play. What do you think about that? See what the tickets look like. This is hilarious. Today at six, I won't be able to go probably. But Victor Sharp says I may schedule a meeting with Anna Paulina Luna. She is fully aware of Nick and can demand documents from the Justice Department. <laughs> oh my gosh, this guy's crazy. Uh, hello, Anna. Hello, Representative Paulina Luna. Can you <laughs> demand documents from the Justice Department on Nick Fuentes? <laughs> because he's giving my sugar baby a hard time. Oh, uh, give me, me those documents. Baby. Is he bothering you? <laughs> Excuse me, Congress? <laughs> oh, Justice Department. <laughs> oh, no. Excuse me, Good Congress? Get the Justice Department on the line. Justice my League on the line. Baby is under attack. <laughs> yeah, give me Congress. <laughs> Hello, Anna? Get me Justice Department. Get me the Attorney General of the United States of America. <laughs> Hello. Attorney General Garland. <laughs> <laughs> we have a situation. 
My sugar baby is under attack. <laughs> At least Stefanik's chief of staff just called me. They're fully aware of Nick. Yeah, they all are. Kevin McCarthy's aware of me. Fucking Trump is aware of me. Yeah, what the fuck? I requested a meeting. I'm going to go after him on every possible angle I can. At this point, I am going to spend all of my time pursuing this. My dad gave a lot of money to her. Oh my gosh. How is this real? But I was still shocked he called me back. They have the ability to demand answers from the DOJ. They're trying to get me in jail for the Capitol, especially in regards to the video of him telling people to storm the Capitol. At least Stefanik's chief of staff called me out of the blue. Okay, this is duplicate. I was shocked. My dad has been supporting Elise Stefanik for... My father, my daddy, has been supporting Elise Stefanik <laughs> for years. And the chief of staff is friends with Tucker fire. and people from Gray Zone. Wait a second. Wait a cotton-picking second. Wow. They found out about the attacks on my dad from Jaden relayed to the congresswoman. Wow. So while Nick is going after super chatters is bad, going after donors to powerful GOP leaders is even worse. Wow. He said there's enormous pressure on Biden DOJ. He told me Tucker is going to cover Nick, which he did collaborate on the gray zone piece. Yeah, this was incredibly dumb. Wow, it's all coming together, huh? Wow, I thought Vic was just some some viewer of the show. There was no big deal. We shouldn't be picking on him. Oh, actually, he's a Con Inc. activist whose family bankrolls the faggots we've been going against for years. Oh, wow, never would have guessed. Quality snack foods would be up to their ass in fucking Con Inc. corruption. To go after my dad. And homosexuality. Your dad's going to fucking burn an L, dude. Victor Sharp Jr., rest in piss. <laughs> He's been donating to politicians for years, He, but he didn't contact them. They literally reached out to me. Jaden made the gray zone people aware of what I was going through. Wow. What a fucking traitor. Crank the... Wow. <laughs> what a traitor. Where's that Putin clip? That's crazy, dude. That's insane. These people are insane. Where's the, where's the? Where's that the is wild, dude. Clip? Holy shit. I got to find it in here. Or which it's one like was what? it? what? Was it this one? I think Elijah. Well, Elijah posted. I'll find on Elijah's. Wow. That's insane. Dude, this is the best one yet. Wow. You know what? Honestly, Red Pill Gaming, the slate is wiped clean. It's clean. Honestly. Red Pill Gaming has received a pardon from the Supreme Cult Leader of America First. Pardon. All is forgiven. He said a lot of crap about me. But this is worth pardoned. Presidential pardon signed. Uh, let's see. I explained everything in detail how Nick uses proxies. Cozy is a criminal enterprise. How? I contacted the FBI. Oh, hello, FBI? FBI, get me the DOJ. Get me Congress. My sugar baby's <laughs> under attack and nobody cares. <laughs> hello, Congress? Congress, get me Justice Department. Justice Department, get me FBI. FBI, Red Ted get Redemption. Me Joe Biden. Why won't they leave my sugar baby alone? This is insane, dude. This is the craziest the fucking thing I've ever read in my life. Uh, this guy mentioned Tucker, familiar with the articles. I'm guessing he talked to Anya directly and reached out to me. I have the COS of one of the most powerful members of Congress. Call me out of the blue is insane. I just pray it isn't another letdown. Sounds like it was. Anna Paulina Luna, who fucking hates Nick. Wow. Well, whatever. I just want to oh, have a large file. This should result in a RICO case as Nick runs organized crime. What? The crime of what? Rico your charges. Baggage sugar baby out of my fucking building. Unreal. That's crazy. 
Rico charges. What a show. Wow. You know what? You got to give it to Red Pill Gaming. What a masterful rollout. He really Tis had the goods. In. I didn't think he had it. And I didn't think he had it in him. Okay, but I'll pull up the man, new ones. Man, he had the goods. Holy smokes. Wow. This is crazy, dude. Red pilled gang. <laughs> That's something else. That is really something else. That whole thing. Let's see. Now we got something on Ella Malding. What? <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Malding is a sore subject. Ooh. Well, he kissed her at some event, and Nick then claimed Jaden had blue balls wanting a blow job. Yeah, I have the screenshot. I don't get into his dating life because that's his privacy. <laughs> uh oh. oh. Well, the Ella Malding shit caused uh -oh. problems. So I was told to delete any problems with of the her. Plus, Nick has been in contact with her regularly, wrote a post about her last week on his Telegram. They didn't fuck, but they made out is what I was told. Like I said, I don't want to get more into it because he's extremely protective of his private life. Does this even sound like a normal relationship? This is the weirdest. This is the most bizarre dynamic I think I've ever heard of. Like 40 year old super chatter of like a twink mm. gamer. Like what in the world? This is just like the most bizarre situation. It really is. Is it just me or is this just like crazy? Just like the way it reads, the way he's talking about it. I was told to delete any mention of her. You go through like all of these and he's just like this obedient, like, I don't even know what. It's It, it literally is like a simp, e-girl relationship. It's like a titty streamer thing. It's like Andrew Tate should be coaching Judas on how to milk Tate. So it's like the same dynamic of like a cam girl. That's crazy. So I guess Jaden doesn't like the Ella Malding stuff. Man, what a basket case. <laughs> and it all comes out. And it all comes out. That's something. Wow. I wish I could have blocked him. So they're literally working with Elise Stefanik and Max Blumenthal's daughter-in-law. Go figure. Elise Stefanik, who's a fucking rhino, by the way. My father is a Republican donor to Elise Stefanik, who replaced Liz Cheney. This really is like just... The music makes it better, too. That's wild. That is absolutely wild. They're literally working with like the Zio. Oh, nice. One of eight Republicans to vote for the Equality Act. Well, it figures. It makes sense why she's an ally of Victor Sharp III, considering he's a gay man. Oh. I guess they're just... I guess it's like an interest-based thing, interest-based politics. LGBT interest group supporting Elise Stefanik. That's wild. We got to write that up. I want to talk more about Rostov, but... But, yeah, we're going we're gonna to do some of that information. Thank you, Red Pilled Gang. Wow. Exonerated. I don't even care if it's one-sided. He really delivered the goods. And I didn't think he would. I really didn't. But that's something. That is something Special else. Saturday delivery. What a nut job. Fraser. What an absolute nut job. Where is the Victor Sharp stuff, by the way? While I'm on, what's the... Does anybody know the app for the channel? Let me pull it up. This was brutal. I saw some of those. I mean, while we're on the subject. Let 
basketball a little bit. All right, let's I'm gonna see. go read the, read the new leaks in a sec. That didn't work. I tried online changing to need three hour will let you in. That didn't work. So I'm spending the next month repeating the challenge. Every perfect swing is a guaranteed out for me. I already ran out of Xanax thanks to this no. series. I get a refill tomorrow morning. No. If I go to game seven, I don't think there's enough Xanax on planet Earth to keep me from going nuts. Wow. I am, is this person's fucking insane. I was at the White Sox Cleveland game. I almost strangled the Cleveland fan, so I really do need to be medicated at games, unfortunately. What? This Freeper has anxiety and anger issues. Yeah, you think? Clearly. What the fuck? I want to tackle Ozzy something tonight. He is the charm who praised Hugo Chavez after my team won the World Series. Not his it's team. Ozzy Gian, I think. Okay. Ultros on his first Twitter account, at Victor Sharp, advocates for LGBT people and has a bio with the hashtag gays for trump and the gay patriot the gay patriot by accounts not just a gay patriot the gay patriot ladies and gentlemen here's the archived link as well deplorable vic sharp at victor sharp american nationalist chicago sports fan white Sox. hashtag gays for trump hashtag the gay patriot this is your guy the gay patriot archived archived links here he is again. There's his face. There's his picture. It looks like he has AIDS. I present to you Ted Cruz's dominionist preacher calling for the death of every LGBT person in the United States. Big problem for him. Here's Scott Presler says, I've never received more love than when I said I'm a gay for Trump. I was welcomed with open hearts and arms. This person replies with at Victor Sharp indicating that Victor Sharp retweeted I think he this. might be listening, you're right. June 14th, 16, June 14th, 16 he says, you're both great men for me, the fact you're both gay you're both gay, in other words, Victor Sharp presumably retweeted it or this guy just added into the tag the fact you're both gay is second to the fact you both love America what the fuck? He tried to stick his know. lawyers me, on Paul Town? Are you saying? I'll pull up some of this stuff. It's not, it's not the loving America. It's definitely the being gay for me. Now we have the next part. Carlos Antonio tweets, please stop messaging me. He's just Victor Sharp. You are hot. Are you gay? <laughs> nice Riz, by the way. Nice pickup line. Wow. Not, hey, not like, what's going on? You are hot. Are you gay? <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck. I didn't even see this. Are you kidding? Yeah, that's forward even for a gay dude. What the fuck? They're known to not be <laughs> very subtle, but like, I mean. That's an interesting one. I'm messaging, I'm messing with you guys. But anyway, I do think you are totally cute. Says Victor Sharp the third. Here's Mr. Bones. Didn't know you were gay, Victor. We have the same <laughs> one from before. Why do you like Trump and like gays too? It's like trying to stick a penis oh, in a penis. Fuck. It just doesn't work. True. <sighs> Ultras liked and replied to a photo of explicit gay furry porn on his current Twitter account, Southside Cards. Oh. Here is a uh, gay furry bear sodomizing himself with a baseball bat. And here are the likes by Southside Cards, JG4L, by the way. <laughs> nice. Wow, nice. He's also proud. Here Jane he is gang. on the Southside Cards Jane account gang, in 2018. Gang. I'm gay and insulted. This just proves you'll go to any lengths to attack someone. I thought you had the moral high ground. But wait, he said he was trolling, Nick. Hold on. He was just doing a little shit posting as a out and proud homosexual. Come on, man. He was just doing a little shit posting. Victor was Victor Sharp, Victor L Sharp the third. He was just doing a little shit posting, dude. Come on. Like, why are you even, why are you even twisted up about this? Uh, but going back to tactics, blah blah blah. That was his girlfriend, dude. That's your. That was his girlfriend. Whose girlfriend or wife or lover, or whatever, hasn't you know posted under your online alias some homosexual material? I mean. That's common for women to do. LARP as an online homo. 
You seem to be a That's pretty common. Huge fan of Iran. As a gay man, they would execute me. How do you feel about that? <clears throat> I find it unbelievable that you and others dismiss your fellow... Do we have any ladies here on a Saturday? Can you just tell us how often you do shit like that? We know it's pretty common. This is Russian stooges. I'm gay for fuck's sake. Do you think I'd go to Russia? Try not alienating people. Maybe we should compare how many beatdowns we received growing up. I am a gay man. I grew up in Chicago. Was beaten regularly. You're saying we are gay pedophiles? As a gay man, that is the worst thing you can say to a man, but you'd hopefully know that. So he doesn't like that, clearly. As a gay man. It is irrelevant. You are bringing up something from the Reagan admin over and over as a sign of sympathy towards a regime that literally executes people over their sexual orientation. Ronald Reagan is not the president. He's dead. It's 2020. I live here. We'll be making phone calls tomorrow. This is not the Tampa Bay fan base. This isn't even the St. Pete Pride fan base, as we know how black men feel about gay men and women. What? Are you still watching your team? Gee, seems you're a Cal Panders to desperate straight men. God bless you, but I'm glad I am gay. Have a nice night and enjoy your followers. Hope it doesn't like the HBO show Euphoria. Kind of ironic. It's sort of like a callback. Yeah, it is. I, I think we pulled that one up, moron. actually. And notice, this is from... I think we pulled that one up, too. This RPGTV is Stan sent $3. Another element is that on one of his recent streams, RPG revealed that Orksmere, a former Nick in turn, worked with his GF to produce the KF debunk of the Ultros gay pedophile revelations. Ultros has been paying everyone off behind the scenes. That's right. That's right. Apparently he spent 4500 or had his dad spend 4500 to harass Paul Town. I just saw on Twitter. We'll pull that up in a second. In 2009, this account was created at Victor Sharp. This is in 2016. He tweets this. This is June 14, 2016. No date on this one. This one is June 14, 2016, June 15, 2016, October 27, 2016. These are in 2018. I'm sorry, this is 21. This is 2018, 2020, 2018, 2020, 2020. 2019, 2020. So he, he consistently tweeted for five years that he was gay on two different accounts. Repeatedly, not like once, not even in a joking context, in like a concern trolling way, revealing personal information. He's complaining about baseball in St. Petersburg, where he has tickets to the baseball team. I live here. I will be making phone calls tomorrow. This is not the Tampa Bay's fan base. This isn't even the St. Pete Pride fan base. Like, where's the punchline? That's a joke? How is that a joke? Like, how, how do you even excuse that? But this is like his move. I guess I guess black people were homophobic at the Tampa Bay's baseball game. And he's like, I'm going to make a phone. I'm going to pop a Xanax and make a phone <laughs> call. Like, this is literally just a fucking insane person. This is like an insane faggot. Right? I mean, this is like we're building a profile here. He loves it. He lives in Chicago and in St. Pete's. He goes to the Tampa Bay games, goes to the White Sox games. He loves baseball. He's clearly got some anxiety, anger issue, which is why he's on these Reddit threads talking about taking Xanax to cope with baseball. White Sox are my team. Chicago, Illinois. Gays for Trump. Chicago sports fan. MAGA. Under his name, Vic Sharp. There's his face. And then here he is, the South Side Cards. What's the South Side? South Side of Chicago, White Sox. And here he is commenting for five years on politics. I present to you Ted Cruz's dominionist preacher calling for the death of, he's concerned trolling Ted Cruz about being anti-gay in 2016. He's concerned trolling the Tampa Bay baseball team, the Tampa Bay Rays, about black people mistreating gay men at the game. That's in 2020, four years later. Here he is in 2020, concern trolling Iran about killing gay people. This is in 2020, mind you. He was super chatting 
me and Jaden during this time. Although he claims he wasn't ever a fan of me, just of Jaden. And, and we'll show you what the super chats are. I think they're in this thread. It was a meme created by a White Sox fan site making fun of the Cubs. When the furry porn got out, he ran damage control on Telegram, locked his account, but it was too late. Here's an account on Fur Affinity called Victor Sharp. Go figure. Victor Sharp, member since December 31st, 2016. On a forum in 2011, Ultras describes a Glee episode featuring gay teen sex <laughs> titled The First Time. What the fuck? Let's see, Dengar01. Oh, that Glee name again. You must tune in for next week's episode of Glee called The First Time. It's without a doubt one of Glee's best installments ever and features two popular couples on the show having sex for the first time. Spoiler, uh, I will list what happens in my comment so that I don't spoil this episode for fans who plan on watching. So here's what happens. During this episode, the couple Rachel and Finn have sex. The gay couple, Kurt and Blaine, also have sex. All four are considered to be either juniors or seniors in high school, making them 17 or 18. In addition, three students go drinking at a gay bar. Once again, that is underage drinking as the show occurs in Lima, Ohio, where the drinking age is 21. Okay. God. Who does Sorry this? to this interrupt, like... sent three dollars. Ralph, do you watch UFC? Yeah, a little there bit. are some good cards coming up in the near future. Yeah, a little bit. Maybe we'll try to do some UFC streams. Uh, I used to do those on the um, Saturday Sunset with Bibble, um, but maybe we'll try to do some. Yeah, I do watch the fight game. I'm more of a boxing fan, but I watch UFC too. Yeah, like a crazy gay person. He's literally try to do in one 2011 writing a blog post about gay sex and glee. All of this is relatively tame compared to what Ultras was posting elsewhere on the internet. His public Tumblr blog, dated back to 2014 to 2016, reveals his carnal infatuation with gay teen and even preteen boys. Here's VictorSharpTumblr.com. This blog is getting gayer and gayer, it says. At Victor Sharp, just living life. There's his face. VictorSharp.Tumblr.com. Reposting White Sox. I'm sure it's another Victor Sharp who moved to Florida from Illinois and loves the White Sox and is gay, right? I'm sure it's just a coincidence. Moving just a coinky dink, Illinois, Nick. Come on, man. This was his girlfriend, dude. You know that. Best decision of my life. We are going to win this state big. Man, you know that. Sorry to interrupt. Sent three dollars. Did you see Spence versus Crawford is official? No, I didn't see that, but I'll be watching that. Archived in full. A I saw Canelo signed with, um, what is it, Premier Boxing? I can't remember their name. Um, for his matchmaking, that's a little bit inside baseball. But. He's been with every archive link will be included at the end of the thread. I take pictures like that with girls that, that are Spence my friends, Crawford's probably no one be. bats and I, because they know I am gay. I've traditionally been a big Crawford fan. Married and their husbands don't Terrence care. Crawford's probably one of my favorite boxers still so, out. Uh, Another reason why I will vote for Trump, he may have a long history, but at least oh, he doesn't play up. Of course, but when is it? I don't see the date. Uh, let's see. July 29th. Uh, that's not too far away. I actually should have known about that already, but I've been so deep in work. But this gay bashing slob. Here he is reposting Connor Franta, a gay teenager, has bath, stays naked after bath, room service randomly shows up, screams, hides, screams, enjoys room service. Would like to work in room service. In other words, reposted something suggesting he'd like to walk in on a naked gay teen male. Shout out to Rumble, shout out to Cozy. Blog seven years ago when you see a I'm just playing this because it was so deadly. I saw a lot of this, but it's like, damn, I want to play it again. Then we'll go through some of the new stuff. Club. Also reposted. I'm a guy who has eyes for guys with pretty eyes. Okay. Also from Connor, Connor Franta. Trevor Moran. It's my birthday. Do I get a boyfriend now? Reblogged. What? And then this is... What? Save the women, not the boobies? This is honestly the best poster I have found supporting breast cancer. I don't know what that has to do with anything. 
25 different sleeping positions by Connor Franta. Nice. <laughs> I love when y'all's excuse for homo transphobia nice. is it ain't natural when y'all be using birth control, modern medicine, elevators, nice. etc. Yeah, great point. How could you criticize anal sex between men when you use elevators? Reblogged hate speech about trans is more than an opinion. 50% of trans youth attempt suicide. You have blood on your hands. Watch marriage equality go from minority to majority in just a few years. How do you feel about non-black POC using We Can't Breathe? No. If you're not black, I, I need you to read breathe. this and stop saying I can't it. breathe I with all this homo shit. Because of Vera Garner. So he's like, Victor, oh, we're, we can't breathe. Will you stop? Do. My friends oh decided my to take a lovely pick for the Westboro Baptist Church. They're not gay, but they support gay rights. This is the most gangster shit I have ever seen on Tumblr. Not even a little bit sorry for posting color to my uncolored blog. This Dude, is there's amazing. so much gay shit here. Reposting Troy Savan. Happy oh. coming out day, guys. I'm proud to be a member of the community. Blah, blah, blah. There was one particular obsession that dominated Ultra's Tumblr blog. He posted dozens, if not hundreds, of times about his idol, Troy Savan, a gay Jewish teenage twink. There's the coming out post. There's Connor Franta and Troy Savan. Here he is again. He, he looks kind of familiar. He also looks kind of on the young side, doesn't he? Because he's a teenager. And here's the Troy Sivan logo. Here's Victor Sharp's face. And here's Victor Sharp's profile picture on Twitter. So he's joining in on some kind of gay teen pop star social media trend. What a weird freak. Do you understand? Yeah, I do. This Bad. is the Troy Savon profile picture. So Victor Sharp edited his to look like it, colored it blue with the red streak. No! And his name. No, that's Victor! Dude, no! Wait, his girlfriend did that, Nick. Come on, dude. Whose girlfriend hasn't edited them as a gay twink pop icon or whatever the fuck he I don't know if he's an icon or not, but. What? No big deal. What are you talking about? That's normal. His girlfriend did that. It wasn't Victor. Oh my god. Name Vic, Victor Shaw picture. So this Vic is unreal. I haven't even seen this one. Holy shit. Victor Sharp edited his to look like it. Colored it blue with the red streak. Man, you could throw and around it, millions and you can't get rid of this fucking home on us like his name, Vic, Victor Sharp. And then it gets even better. He posted this. How young does this person look, by the way? How young does this young man look? Not good. That Victor Sharp reposted. Not good. Troy needs to come to the Windy City, says Victor Sharp. Here's some more. Reposting this and this. Why is he reposting a teenage boy licking his lips? How young does he look in this? How young does he look in this? Could you say that Victor Sharp is attracted to, is that why he's reposting Troy Sivan, a teenage boy, a gay teenage boy licking his lips? Once you see the resemblance, it's not hard to imagine why Ultros is showering Walmart Troy in money. Yeah, it's a good point. Does this guy look familiar? Who does this look like? Anybody got a guess? No. Who does this look like right here? Oh, no. It can't be. When you be. watch this frame here on the bottom left, Judas who does McCheese, that remind no. you of? Does that look like anybody you know? I'm oh. just curious. No. Come on, But Nick. I guess it's all a coincidence, right? Victor Sharp, who loves the Chicago White Sox and moved from Chicago to Florida, who has posted consistently for five years about being a gay man, and has a Tumblr called Victor Sharp, which posts about the White Sox and living in Chicago, obsesses over a teenage gay boy named Troy Savan, who happens to look like Jaden McNeil, no. the guy that Victor Sharp showers with money and takes to baseball games and calls almost every day no. and introduced to his family. 
But I'm sure that's just a coincidence. That's just the biggest. The sound picked up the There's sussy no sound. You're right. But you know, we're just making this up, though, right? It's all archived, too, by the way. It's all archived. No, it can't be. Keep in mind, this is a grown man in his 30s at the time of this blog. You'd never know from his numerous reposts of Stan accounts run by 14-year-old girls. There's Troiler hate in the Troner tag again. <laughs> oh, my God. Troner Fraven says, Sai. I just went to read that post, and while I... He's re Victor Sharp, a 30-year-old man at this time, is reposting this. Seven years ago. He's 40 now. Sai, I just want to read that post, and while I get it and definitely don't think it's acceptable to send hate to anyone, let alone rival shit blogs, the fact is that Troiler blogs complaining about getting hate always strikes a chord with me. I feel like as a fandom, they didn't care about the negative effects of ship wars until it started negatively affecting them. So I kind of want to play the violin for them ship whenever wars. the shippers pitch a melodrama like that. In any case, they shouldn't be tagging it with Troner. That's just asking for more hate. It just pisses people off even more and makes less Troner shippers sympathize with them. Hate is never a good thing. But if someone is really seeking to get less of it, stoking the fire is a bad way to go. Can you do like 10 facts what every Troner shipper should know? Troy and Connor both said they are in relationships. We have proof Troy and Connor go on dinner and lunch and museum dates often. Troy's mother considers Connor family. Troy and Connor are extremely supportive of each other. Troy and Connor have neither confirmed nor denied the rela- This is a 30-year-old adult male. These are teen- these are gay teenagers. These are gay teenagers, and he's reposting ship blogs, shipping them. Happy birthday to this 20-year-old. You're the best friend anyone could Aww. ever ask for. The world is a better place with you in it. Gay boys hit the town. And he's reposting this. Wild, what is this? Wild bite fools the what? Yeah, just him being dragged away by two shirtless guys. I'm singing wild and already have the lyrics memorized. Troy Rocks, reposted by Victor Sharp. Victor Sharp replies about the Troy Sivan concert. This was in Chicago. It was a million times better in person, says Victor Sharp. So he went to a Troy Sivan concert. And here's him reposting again. Uh, again, how old do these people look? No. Oh. Those looks. This is literally my whole world. Look at this. This is 30 year old man is into this. And this. No. Let's talk about sex. Yeah, the guy's only 15. No. Nick, no. Ultra says life is finally worth living since he came out as gay. It really does get better after coming out. I was miserable for so long, and coming out made my life worth living. Reposted by at Victor Sharp from Connor Franta. Here he is reposting him in Chicago. Here's more. <laughs> I can't believe they are both here. So wish I was going. Dude, look at how young this kid looks. Troy and Connor with fans. Bro, look at how young these people are. I can't believe they're both here. So wish I was going. Really, dude? Shake that ass. Still can't believe this happened. Dude, this is a fucking kid. Bro, are you kidding me? Reposting this. Look at how young. This guy's prepubescent. That guy's like 10. Wow, dude. What the Sick actual Vic. F? Sick Vic Sharp. Look at how young he is here. Unreal. And then reposting this. Nice. What, what are they? Five? Victor Sharp reposted this on his Tumblr. Here's the archive link. You can post it if you want yourself. VictorSharp.tumblr.com. 
How, how young Not his girlfriend did that, Nick. Come on, man. Reposted on Victor Sharp's gay blog. You're wrong for this. And then here he is on some disgusting, blasphemous porn site. I'm not even going to pull that up because it's so gross. Ugh. Ultros, I consider Jaden to be my little brother. He has always had my back 100%. I'm not sure what Nick is trying to do to bring up the MLB The Show thing is Jaden couldn't beat it. I beat it on my own. I just wanted Jaden to play the stupid game on stream, but he didn't. But he is still my best friend, LOL. At this point, Jaden has become How do you even fan. beat MLB The Show? It's a sporting... Uh, I don't even get that. I'm a long-time player of sports games, too, and I'm like, what does he mean, beat MLB The Show? Like, maybe the career mode or something? I don't know. Emily. Well, like your husband? Hey, can you beat this game? Or your sugar baby? Are like, you there's no daddy? way to beat it. My dad loves Jaden. We want nothing but the best for him. The many faces. The guy looks like he has AIDS also. Probably does. I mean, who can and say? And then here but... he is. You could actually literally see him. This is the Chicago Troy Savant concert. He He's just at... an anonymous donator. Why are you picking on this guy? You can see him in the fucking front it's row. It's not like he was calling everybody in fucking Congress to try to get you... Brought up on RICO charges. It's not like he's been paying thousands of dollars to try to put Paul Town in jail. It's not like he's been calling every police department in the United States to try to get America First classified as a terrorist organization. Gang organization! At the concert. Literally. Dude. There he is. Yeah, we showed some of those. In the front row! Are you kidding me? <laughs> and we know because we found the YouTube video. We found the YouTube video of it, of the Troy Sivan Chicago concert. Wow. And we looked through the crowd Front and we Vic. found his fucking head in the row. <laughs> how do you how do you think we know? Well, because here he is in the comments section. Troy Sivan, Chicago, October 30th, 2015. Seven years ago. Victor Sharp, seven years ago. The quality is amazing. I was in the balcony, so this is such a great view. Thanks for posting this. Seven years ago. Here's his TikTok, at Victor Sharp 3, and guess who he's following? Now oh, all the usual suspects. No. Oh. All the usual also, suspects. then you go through and they're like, well, what about this picture of these boys? All the, the usual suspects, like, yeah, I'm that's afraid. that's fucking weird. Well, that's, screen, that's a screen grab from a music video that has 50 million plays on YouTube. And uh, it's it's that singer, you know, just like Jacob Sartorius. They're, they're like running saying, this is like child CP. It's a 50 million played thing. I have never seen that. By right hand of God, I have never seen this clip. I swear I have never seen this clip. I've seen all, everything else in this thread. I have not seen this clip. Wow. What? Also, then you go through and they're like, well, oh what about gosh. this picture of these boys on the beach? It's like, yeah, that's pretty fucking weird. Well, that's, screen, that's a screen grab from a music video that has... 50 million plays on YouTube, and uh, it's it's that singer, you know, just like Jacob Sertorius. They're, they're like running, saying, this is like child CP. It's Dude. a 50 million played thing. That's insane, dude. He literally defend. I didn't even know he defended it. Bro, what the f actual fuck? What in the world? Also, then you go through and they're like, well, what about this picture of these boys on the beach? It's like, yeah, that's pretty fucking weird. <laughs> well, that's screen. That's a screen grab from a music video that has 50 million plays on YouTube. And uh, it's it's that singer, you know, just like Jacob Sertorius. They're, they're like running saying, this is like... When he says that singer, he's talking about, he won't say Troy Sivan. He's saying that singer. So he doesn't have to say Troy Sivan. Wow, dude. That's crazy. Now let's go back to the, to the files here. So that's this guy. 
who says, I may schedule a meeting with Anna Paulina Luna. She is fully aware of Nick and can demand documents from the Justice Department. If Jado didn't torpedo his chances by joining F, he would be in her office. Her district office is in Florida. The least Stefanik chief of staff just called me. She is third ranking member. I requested a meeting with Congresswoman Luna. I am going to go after him on every possible angle. I am done with the bullshit and spent all my time pursuing this. My dad gave a lot of money to her, but I was still shocked that he called me back. I have the ability to demand answers from the DOJ. At least Stefanik chief of staff called me out of the blue. That's duplicate. Uh, I only told Jaden about this, so don't repeat this, but he insinuated the feds are all over this, told me to continue working with the police and state's attorney. I was shocked. My dad has been supporting Stefanik for years, and the chief of staff is friends with Tucker. By the way, who is Elise Stefanik's chief of staff? Let's find that out right now. That's crazy, dude. Patrick Stewart Hester? So who's this now? on Twitter. Oh, I just looked that up. Uh, this guy. Why don't we ratio this guy and ask him about <laughs> Why don't we talk to this guy and say, what do you know about Victor Sharp? The yeah, third, why don't we ratio the this file? And why don't we post everything? What's the telegram again? Uh, Altros is a gay pedo. So if you need any of the screen grabs, just go to t.me slash Altros is a gay pedo. <laughs> and you go to twitter.com slash Stuart Hester. And you could tag him in every one of his tweets and post the screenshots and say, what's going on? What's your relationship what's with up, Victor What's up, big Shaw? guy? Even better, we could go to Representative Stefanik's Twitter and we could post this under her Twitter. Why don't we do that? I think that might be even better. Prelucid sent $3. Thank you for that. By the way, I haven't been shilling the phone today. It's just kind of a cozy Saturday show. Uh, I mean, I have shilled it a couple times, but not too much. But the sixth hour Transformer Fund on your screen, if we want to keep the streak alive, we have to fulfill and kill and kill, kill, fucking kill the gray bar. We are 15% of the way there. So we made a little bit of a dent in it. Powerchat.live slash the Ralph Retort. Killstream.live slash tip. Dollar sign Sunset Squad on Cash App. Also... Ferret.cash slash the Ralph Retort, killstream.live slash entropy. Somebody super chatted on Rumble earlier. We're up on D Live. I'll check that in a minute. Somebody sent a diamond or two the other day. Many different ways to support the show. You can subscribe on Kick as well, even though we're not live over there. It'll come up on the screen. Why don't we go into this tweet? And we post a screenshot from Oh RPG. wow. Somebody sent me a PMC Feaser design. I just saw that in the... Oh, wow. Uh-uh. Holy shit. Dude, would you rock this? Should I put this on a shirt? Dude, I think I might. Do you think he'll get mad if I do that? I mean... I, I feel like we almost have to, don't we? I mean, I might sell some just during this show. Do you want a PMC Feaser shirt? Holy shit. I think it's pretty good. I don't know what you guys think. Oh, a tease? Oh, uh, a tease? You know what? I'll wait. I'll go put it on a shirt. I'll go put it on a shirt real quick. Why not? So you could grab this screenshot and grab something from the Telegram channel. And I'm calling on my uh, Groiper, you know, my my Groiper lieutenants to do this because I know mean, I'm asking a lot. But why don't we put that in Elise Stefanik's replies and let's juice that. And let's put it in Hester's replies as well. And then we'll juice it. We'll get back to Russia in a minute. This is important. Oh, somebody bought a Peaceful Sunset Productions. I need to start using that logo again. I mean, it's my company. <laughs> so I need to start using that again. I just saw somebody bought one of those the other day. Peaceful Sunset Productions shirt. There's a lot of cool shirts on there still. I don't promote it enough. Killstream.live slash shop. OK. 
Okay, this is important. So let me know when somebody sends a tweet with all that info in it, and we'll juice it right here live on the stream, okay? But anyway, so let's wait for that. Somebody let me know when you've posted it, and we'll juice it. So he says he talks to Elise Stefanik's chief of staff. He's been donating to politicians for years. They reached out to me. Jada made the gray zone people aware of what I was going through and how they went after my dad. I explained everything in detail, how Cozy is a criminal enterprise, contacted the FBI. This is the freak who's coming after me. All right, we got, a, we got news here. We got news on the Russia front. All right, this is almost at its end. Lukashenko and we'll go through some of the leaks. I'm going to put this shirt up real Pergosian, quick, though. President of Belarus. Let's see. I wonder if that's big enough. Prigozhin accepted Lukashenko's proposal to stop the movement of PMC. Boo. Lame. Okay, so it's over. Yeah. It's over. Lukashenko, in agreement with the president of Russia, held talks with Prigozhin. Prigozhin accepted Lukashenko's proposal to stop the Wagner movement in Russia and take steps to de-escalate. Message from the president of the Republic of Belarus. This morning, Russian President Vladimir Putin informed his Belarusian counterpart about the situation in the south of Russia with the private military company Wagner. The heads of state agreed on joint actions. As a follow-up to the agreements, the president of Belarus, having clarified the situation through his own channels, Hell talks with the head of the Wagner PMCs. Negotiations lasted throughout the day. As a result, we came to an agreement on the inadmissibility of unleashing a bloody massacre on the territory of Russia. Prigozhin accepted the proposal of the president of Belarus, Lukashenko, to stop the movement of armed Wagner company on the territory of Russia. At the moment, there is an absolutely profitable and acceptable solution to the situation on the table with security guarantees for the fighters of the Wagner PMCs. So it's over. Boo, lame. What? I'm gonna forward that to my telegram. So this whole thing was fake. This whole thing was fake and gay. This sucks. Translate this for me. Lukashenko, the president of Belarus, mediated between the Russian government and Wagner and they called off the rebellion. They called off the war. This sucks. I thought we were going to get a really awesome happening. I guess we did, just not the one we thought we were going to get. Somebody I got to make this. this image bigger. Fuck. What is your connection to the Sharp family? Their middle-aged son, Victor III, has been up to no good. Yeah, let's get some more in there. Let's see. No, this is not good enough. Needs more. This is not good enough either. What do you, why would you do, seriously? No effort? No, no effort. No, you got to put more effort in here. No, these are bad. You got to delete those. Hey, Elise, why is your, there we go. This is perfect. This is perfect. Oh, I got to remove the background. Yeah. Fuck. Choose this. Boom. And let's see, how about, um, that's so crazy, Elise Stefanik's office is involved in this. I wonder if there's some journalist we could turn this over to. Yeah, somebody needs to write this up. I agree with that. Maybe the Rafa Mel. There's an interesting story that the fourth ranking member of the House Chief of Staff is involved in e-drama between yeah. Francis and Victor Sharp. Yeah, I think that's pretty interesting. If I write it, somebody will pick it up, too. Maybe I should. Somebody else will pick it up. I need you to tag this guy as well. Yeah. Get in his replies uh, with this as well. And say, hey, what's your relationship with this guy, Victor Sharp? Victor Sharp Jr. and Victor Sharp III. All right. Well... We got to change the title. It's not even, we, we didn't even get a Moscow siege. I'm going to keep the title. Maybe people still watch it. It's clickbait. 
That's nuts, dude. So it's over. So there's no... Let's see. Global Intel Watch has some commentary. Reports of tension in Aleppo between Wagner and Russian troops. Signs of military fracture. Deputy head of GRU quipped that Prigozhin was welcome to take Shuigo and Grasimov away. Ukraine has launched several offensive in the east of the country. A deal has been reached. Now wait and see if Grasimov and Shuigu go. If this is the end, this is a Prigozhin victory. No one was able to stop his convoy. He was heading straight to Moscow. Some actors from the GRU supported him. Putin had two choices, return to hostilities or accept Prigozhin as the de facto leader of Russia. I think he'll choose the latter. Putin is likely to remain president. Whoa, until the 24 election, you think? I don't know, I think Putin will kill him or something. No way Putin would accept that, I don't think. The state no longer exists. Putin deliberately destroyed all institutions of statehood. The rest was done by corruption. The end of this celebration of life is near. Blowing up bridges will not stop the inevitable. Justice will prevail. I thought they reached a deal, though. I almost got the shirt ready. This does not mean that hostilities are over. However, it is a step towards de-escalating the rebellion. Okay, so I guess it's still ongoing. It's still hot, but they've de-escalated it. Okay. W for Russia, L for content. Yeah, exactly. Anyway. Where are we on Elise Stefanik? How we doing here? <laughs> Bruh, gross. Liptard's supposed the craziest stuff, man. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Juice this. Juice this. Like this and retweet this right now. If you got Twitter... Like this and retweet this this instant. Juice this. I'm speed running, putting this shirt up. Elise and I'm gonna read Stephanie, some of these what's new going leaks. on? Why is your chief of staff, Stuart Hester, talking to Victor Sharp the Third, a gay pedophile? This is crazy. This is a bad look. There's a ton of different colors and many different styles of the shirt, by the way. Oh, they're in recess. Well, when they're back from recess, I want to call her office. We can light up the switchboards asking about it. But yeah, this whole coup thing has been a giant disappointment. What a flop. I thought it was going to be awesome, but instead it was lame. PMC Feaser Group, are we ready for the unveiling? Let's see. There's a bunch of different styles, by the way. I'll put it in the chat, too, the link. PMC Feaser. Boom, there it is. I'll pull it up on screen, too. I'm trying always, yeah, Chuck made this, by the way. Shout out to him. Let me pull it up here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. PMC Feaser Group Operation Ultros. <laughs> that shit does go hard, doesn't it? <laughs> well, you can buy one now for $20 for the regular shirt, and then there's a bunch of different styles and shit that may cost a little bit more depending on the like style. Uh, but twenty dollars for the regular shirt, and uh, those—that's usually the basket of stuff. There's more styles I could use, but that's usually the setup. Most of those, give or take, a different style here or there. But that's usually the styles I put out there. So, if you go to that link, you can buy a shirt. And you know what? Today only, today only. If you buy a Feaser shirt, I'll take what I make off each shirt, which is like ten dollars or whatever, um, and I'll add it into the tally. 
So if you want to support support the show, support the fun today, of course you can through the regular methods. But one day only, I will add in any tallies from the store, specifically this shirt, the PMC Fieser Group shirt. So if you want to support that way, you can do it via shirt. I don't ever do that, but today, since I made it during the show, that's a way to support the fund as well. And I will add it in. I will add it into the six hour fund, which is 15% of the way there. Powerchat.live slash the Ralph Retort, killstream.live slash tip. Okay, now let me pull up some of the leaks. Uh, oh, I'll share that on Telegram too. I don't know if I'll put it on Twitter since they like to report docs and all that shit. I mean, it's not really, but. Um, let's see. Okay, let's see. All right, let me put this out. All right, here goes the link on Telegram. My store is pretty cool. That's one of the longest partnerships I've had too, maybe the longest. Uh, and my store is my store is pretty solid. Been around for a while. Been around for a while. Thank you, Chuck, for that design. PMC Feaser Group. All right, now let me pull up the leak. Speaking of that, uh, then somebody wanted me to go over the Flamenco stuff that I never did. I think I have that link somewhere. I don't know if it's still up on YouTube or not. But where he got baited onto a stream recently and got roasted, I think it was like a week ago now. But uh, I don't know the whole... I don't really know what happened because I didn't watch it. And I was going to watch it on air, but, like, so much crazy shit was happening. I didn't have a chance. The Victor Files drop number four. Ultros gets frustrated with Jaden for leaving comments with his name docs up. Suspects he's doing it intentionally. Wow. And suggests Jaden doesn't care because it's not his family that's been affected. Oh, that sounds very catty, Victor. Victor, that's very catty. You shouldn't act like that. It's unattractive. Ugh. There were more doxing from Groypers in Jaden's comments. Hold on, let me pull this up. Accidentally switched off. There were more doxing from Groypers in Jaden's comments when I woke up. I don't know why he doesn't do it himself when he stays up all night, but having my docs sit on friendly sites, Discord, his Telegram, or YouTube, is going to hurt my case for a restraining order. Only thing that makes sense is he left it up intentionally. No. He was online all night, according to Discord. Wow, this guy's stalking his Discord to see whether he's online or not. Dude, you do that to a bitch, man. Like, this is... Like, what? Are you kidding? This is behavior you have when you don't trust your, your woman or something. Or you're just, like, looking for a sign or something. It really is not healthy. I mean, I guess everybody's been there. Not in a gay relationship like this, but... uh this is like romantic relationship things, you know what I mean? Like, oh, when is when are they on? When are they online? Did they see my message? Oh, they didn't say anything. Does that mean anything? Oh, what? I wonder if they're mad about this. Like, this is something. Of course, everybody's been there. Like, what the fuck? I can tell you that I've been there. Not in a gay relationship, though. What the fuck? This is not normal. You're monitoring his Discord? Oh, oh he logged in at... 4.30, and he was up all night, and, uh... Okay, well, that's something you do when you're obsessing over your relationship, or, like, man, I wonder how they're feeling, or, uh... And, by the way, it's not healthy then, either. But sometimes you can't help it, you know. Like I said, I've been there, but... This is not a normal friendship, or supporter, or entertainer, V, patron relationship, whatever. Uh, this is not... This is not that. This is very strange. Oh, wow. Send cop to fle of PMC Feaser. You know what? I'll add to the tally. Like I said, I would. Let me see. Another profit. They send out quick, too. My shop, it was slow a little bit during COVID because everything was slow. But uh, my shop's pretty based. Pretty based. So that's 12 bucks. 12 bucks added into the pile. The Feaser shirt is on sale. That's not bad. Pro I get a pretty good profit from them, too. All things considered. I mean, I could 
price it higher too. But I try to keep the price low where it's like, well, you get a, you get something. Phys- some people want some physical for support and stuff, which I understand. So, um, I try to keep the price as low as possible. Let me see here. I'll add that in. Boom. PMC Feezy. I think that upgraded. Fuck, I closed the window too fast. The fuck? No! How is that possible? Okay, I'll fix that. Oh, no, I did update. Okay, good. 18% 18% of the way there. Uh, let's see. One thing that makes me that makes sense is he left it up intentionally. He was online all night according to Discord, and only messages he deleted were ones he was mentioned in. He doesn't want me to go dark because the Groypers will, quote, win. But if he isn't going to be actively combating that and hurting my chances of a restraining order, I have no idea what to do other than cut off all contact. Oh, no. No, you can't do that. That's your baby. You can't do that. Oh, no. I wonder if Judas had seen these. By the way, if it's not clear by now, Victor's a complete fucking Spurg. Did you see the shirt? Dude, cop one. I don't know how long I'll leave it up, by the way. That shirt might not be up. First off, if if Teddy complains, they'll take, they might take it down because it's got his face on it. So... They may take it down. They took down. I had that Sargon <laughs> that I sold quite a few of, and it's just his face, like, uh, in a sketch drawing, basically. But it's a real picture turned into a sketch drawing, and then it says rape underneath. <laughs> it just says rape. <laughs> I'd come up with the idea on air, and then somebody designed it. I was like, you know that that black dude they used to show in the meme, and he looks like really fucking gutter. And he's got the beard and it just says rape below his face. I was like, take Sargon's face, turn it into like sketch, you know, sketch eyes it or whatever. And then just put rape underneath. And uh, he complained to my store, even though it was complete satire and completely fair under the law. So is this, by the way. You can use people's likenesses in a satirical manner, even for profit. But um, they took it down because they didn't want to fuck with him. They didn't do anything to me. They didn't like suspend my store, but they just took it down. And then ESPN, I had it. I still have. They put that back up. I had an ESPN, but with the S, I think there's the commie symbol in there. And they took that down. It's like, what the fuck? That's satire, dude. Like, you can't take that down. I complained and they restored it. But uh, they always fulfill all orders, though. So don't worry about that. They fulfilled. I had a Joker one, too. Uh, when the Joker movie came out. And I sold like 70 of those and they took it down because Warner Brothers complained, but they, they sent them all out though. They sent every single shirt out. I was like based. Wow. Another PMC Feaser hot off the presses. That's a 12 spot too. No, I'm not. It's 1210. I'm not adding in the 10 cents or whatever I could, but uh oh, they're flying off the presses. If you want to get it added into the tally. And like I said, they may not. It may not be up that long. So, I know for a fact it'll be up today, and it, they will sell today for sure. And I'll pull it up here. I'll put it in the in the chat for those just joining us. Like God of Conquest, there it is. That's sick. I think I'm gonna get one for myself. Honestly, I'm gonna see what it costs to get one shipped to Mexico, and I'm gonna be in the U.S. next week. But I don't know. That'd be kind of a kind of a quick turnaround for it to get there that quick. You can pay for it to get there that quick though. But it'd have to hit right then. So it'll ship worldwide, by the way. I don't know if I should reiterate that, but you can be listening anywhere in the world and they will send that shirt out to you. And uh if they have partners in shops uh who'll make this anywhere in the world. So if you're listening abroad or your military as well which I do have several military listeners, and they will ship it to military bases too and do all that shit. So they're really good. They're really good. I have one of the best shops in the whole sector for sure. And I don't have to they, – they mail it out. I don't have to fuck with any of that. Now, I've mailed out my own stuff too. 
But without a pantsu here and without being in Mexico and having to ship internationally, I haven't been doing that. So that's why. I still owe some people some shirts too, and I haven't forgot about that from Kingpin. And I will send out an email. Um, I still have some Ralph Amania shirts too. Some people want Kingpin shirts though. So I am going to get that done. So don't don't think. If you're some of those people, don't get mad. I haven't forgotten. I have not forgotten. Wow. Another PMC fees are sold? That's 11 because the style he bought, he bought there is. Uh, the prices are different. They're not all the same margin of profit. <laughs> I hate to get too meta. But, uh, yeah, it's a little bit different. Three PMC feasers. Will they ship one to Putin? Yeah, if he ordered one. For sure. There are military groipers and military kill streamers for sure. I've seen it. I've seen them ship it to military bases. Like, it's not even a question. I've seen it. Let me see. I'll link it one more time, and then I'll start reading the rest of this. Uh, you're 6 to 200. Should you get L or XL? I'd probably get XL. It might be a little loose, but I'd probably get XL. I don't know, though. It, they have a size chart on the on the website. But they can be a little, sh uh, depending on the style, they can be a little short, but it has the, it has the length, like it has the length on there and the width and all that stuff. For sure. All right, now let's see. Uh, where am I at? doesn't want me to go dark. I already read that. That has nothing to do with anyone online. This has to do with the fact that he is now encompassing my family, and it is a nightmare. I have no fucking clue why he even allows Groiper sin. I think he meant Groiper's in. Yeah, I think 6-2 should get XL for sure, yeah. I have no fucking clue why he even allows Groiper sin in his telegram. They should be instantly banned. This is a year of this shit, and it's my family members affected, not his. Wow, that sounds really, that sounds really catty. He was up all night and deleted this one instantly. This guy was monitoring Jaden shit all night long. Groiper sin. Maybe he's talking about something else. He was up all night and deleted this one instantly. He was in Discord up until 7 a.m. talking about Tenryo and Big Tech. If he, what the fuck? Imagine that being in your life. If he doesn't take this seriously, I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to. I literally just go dark and wipe Ultros from the internet. I'm getting major pressure from my dad right now, blaming me for all this shit. Rightfully so. Rightfully so. No shit. He's like, you fuck up. I'm a Republican donor, owner of quality snack foods and whatever shithole in Illinois. I can't be involved with this. This you fucking dunce. Why are you getting me into this? Here's forty five hundred. Yeah, I'll pay lawyers. Whatever. What the fuck, you idiot. You've always been a disappointment. You fucking faggot. You've always been a major disappointment. I can't even bring you around. Get down to Florida. Get away from my business. Get away from my family. Yeah, I'll pay for it. Whatever. I don't want to see you again until the next fucking decade. Oh, that's what happened. You know what? Get down to Florida. There's a lot of other homos down there. You can go down to Florida. It'll be a better fit for you. That's what happened. Get out of Illinois, you freak. Yeah, I bet your dad's pissed. God, this guy's fucking my age. Imagine this, dude. I can't imagine this. Of course, my dad's passed away. But, like, I would never have this conversation at any point in my life, much less when I was 38 years old or 40, however old he is. What the fuck? You fucking absolute weasel. Did Florida get BTFO'd? Yeah. I mean, there's more gay shit in Florida. What are you, dumbass? More gay shit in Florida than Illinois? Yeah. I mean, is that not, I mean, is that controversial to say? I don't think so. 
mean, I think that's kind of obvious. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I haven't done it like an investigation. I'm just assuming. <laughs> yeah. Gays love the warm weather. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm thinking. Like, beaches and all this shit in Florida and Miami and all that. I was like, there's got to be more gay shit in Florida. I mean, it's just speculation, but. If he doesn't take this seriously. Oh, I read that. I don't know. I don't know. He knows this is retarded. He knows I told him to ban all groupers. Everyone knows they are no good. I'm getting blamed by everyone in my family. This has been a fucking nightmare on steroids. What is the point of leaving retarded Groper 69 calling Jaden a faggot for the 50th time? It's been a year. Ban them all. They should get this. They shouldn't get to speak. But now this is recent then. But now that my dad is paying thousands of dollars on lawyers, this makes it even worse. What a fucking loser. All just asked me to explain e-drama to his dad since Jaden is leaving him on red. Oh, no. Extremely common occurrence. Fazer says, oh, no. They sent this to blank last night. Is there any way you could explain this to my dad in normie terms? I can't get a hold of Jaden. Like, they are freaking out. Can't get a hold of Jaden. Motherfuckers can't get a hold of me unless I want to get a hold of them. I don't even know, like, what kind of... He should have never started talking to you like that. I mean, I will talk to people if they ask here and there on the show, for sure. And I have. Or off air, I have. But they don't have a... They can't just call me whenever. Like, I mean, I don't... <laughs> It'll be like a scheduled call. They were asking me about something or this or that. I have done that. But uh, you can't just ring me up unless I know you and you've talked to me several times that's not that's not normal now you know Victor's cultivating a different type of relationship can you explain it to my dad Ultros gets upset that retarded PPP has been attacking him as a gay furry and is annoyed he didn't bother reading the fraudulent Kiwi Farms debunk which Ultros collaborated on with Tard Whisperer yeah, that's Worski too. He is like that. Ralph, oh, oh, he started, you know what? Victor and Worski got a lot in common. Because Worski would be like that. Yeah, top me down off the ledge. Uh, uh, uh. And, you know, everybody has a bad night here and there. I talked about it. I had a bad night in late April. You know, my wife separated with me. It wasn't my choice. <laughs> uh, I was, you know, in the throes of drug addiction. It was a rough night. But, uh. This is every night for people like this. You know what I mean? Like, this is Ultros' life. He's a neurotic, just fucking anxiety-ridden mess. Every fucking second of the day. You know, things happen. Downturns happen. You know, I'm not even running. I know how it goes. Like, I could see getting, you know, worked up. But, like, every second of every day, and it's about the gayest shit, and you clearly have some kind of either fully homo or homoerotic or something weird going on with Jaden. Also, my camera almost froze there. I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> I might freeze OBS. Let me close some of these tabs. Look at all those tabs. Let me see. I'll just try to close those. All right. Rumble, hit the thumbs up for fuck's sake. What is your problem? What is your problem? Oh, Chuck said the bottom text can say whatever. Yeah, we could change it, but I like Operation Ultros. I think that's good. I think that was good. Those were good instincts there. Why fuck with perfection, honestly? Like, but we could change it if the if there's a new mission. You're right. We could change it if it was a new mission. PMC Feaser Group. That shit's sick. Chuck's awesome. He came up with something in five minutes. Well, I mean, maybe it took a little longer, but. Than what the A logs have been putting out the whole entire time. And we're actually selling them. <laughs> Get yours now. And it goes into the sixth hour transformer fund. Let's read more of this bullshit. Oh, wow. Did you cop one just now? Let me see. I'll look. I love my shop. Oh, no. I see. You're one of the ones who copped it, though. Okay. I added in, added in the three who did. And we'll see if more come in. Get yours now. I don't know how long they'll be up. If you want to. Oh, wait, sorry. 
If you want a uh, PMC Feaser Group shirt, I don't know how long they'll be here. There's all different colors, too. I don't know if you can tell that. Oh, shit. Look at the green looking fresh. Oh, boy. Look at that green. The red and green for Christmas. Getting that in early. Damn, that looks sick on the green background. Holy shit. Do we have like a hunter green, too? Yeah, that's the Axmas edition. It's that deep forest green. And then different styles have different colors. Oh, shit. We golden out. Oh, uh, this is for the elite members of the PMC Feaser Group. Classic premium crew neck. Costs a little bit more, five bucks more, but you can get golden. Golden. The white, of course, looks sick, too. All these different colors. All these different colors and styles. Long sleeve women. Wait, what? We even got a women's shirt? Damn, we made it something for the ladies. What? Uh-uh. PMC Feaser. We even got some for the ladies. This is the tri-blend. Purple? Damn. For the lean head crowd. Holy shit, we got purple too? Damn. Are you kidding? Whoa. Man. Technicolor in this bitch. All right. Ultras gets upset that retarded PPP's been attacking him as a gay... Wait, what? As a gay furry. Okay, we read that part. I brought this up to Jaden yesterday after the show because I was obviously livid, but every time these fuckers super chat or ask about the gay op, it completely derails the show. I think this is what Nick and Groypers want. Do you think just ignoring them is the best response? Just like PPP, this is retarded and a distraction from Nick and AF. Ultra says, the faggots that keep asking Jaden to explain gay op or me going on Kino Casino. PPP has been attacking me as a gay furry, so his chatters are raiding Jaden's streams, demanding he explain the gay op. One told me I needed to be interviewed by the casino. God, he would melt down. The casino. Imagine him coming on the kill stream. I mean, this guy would just be melted on air. Jaden went on a long, long tangent, repeating the debunk again. But the point is, none of these people care about the truth, and PPP didn't even bother reading TW, Tard Whisper's debunk. I know you hate her, but she wrote a really good breakdown of it point by point. Nah, you're not getting the fees, you bitch. I'm so glad he put all this out. God. This is a gold mine. And then we just, you know, I haven't covered this part, but Nick did, and we watched that part. This guy was literally calling in con congressional favors to try to get Nick Fuentes brought up on charges because he was making fun of his Twitter history. Dude, these people are crazy. These people try to get the law involved, and I know many of them, and they're all pieces of trash. It's like, dude, you're getting the law involved over, I don't care, you know, unless it's swatting or something, you know, beyond the pale. And then I've seen motherfuckers lie about that too. I've never said so-and-so swatted, only that it really started picking up after Medicare started catching heat. I mean, that's true. I still don't think he swatted anybody himself, but I think some of his psycho fans probably did, probably do. But imagine, you know, I've had all kinds of shit said about me. And it's one thing to go and try to get people reported or whatever. You know, whatever you think of that, by the way. But it's quite another to call the fucking law or call your congressman or we need a meeting with the Justice Department. Like, what are you talking about? But no, he's just in a non supercharged jacuzzi. His dad is not a big wig donator to Republican candidates and causes. It's not like, man, this is ridiculous, man. Fuck these motherfuckers. We'll go in on this fucker all we want. He's a fucking proponent of the corruption in Washington. Drain the swamp. Drain the swamp and watch this motherfucker circle the drain. A-logs in the beltway. Can you believe it? Low technique. Are you fucking kidding me? Imagine if Medicare wasn't such a faggot with like 18 different types of cancer, allegedly. I don't know. Whatever. This is a story. Like, why are people not covering this?
I don't know. This is shit that's like unbelievable. Like what? You're calling in the fucking congressional committee? I mean, that's just insane, really. Ultra says, I wouldn't, I would never, I would never in a million years go on a stream. And why, yeah, no, because you basket case. And why should Jaden go on KC and, KC and defend me when they don't care? They just want drama. According to Ultros, Gabe Hoffman begins spam texting him after VHS Archive shared his phone number without permission. Ultros proceeds to call Gabe a legit psycho and Jewish terrorist. Are you serious? I thought that was... And I, you know, kind of been ignoring the, the Hoffman stuff, but like, what the fuck? Ultros just throws everybody under the bus. Are you kidding? Is there somebody he won't throw under the bus? He throws Hoffman, he throws... Judas, he throws, like, I mean, this guy's disloyal. He threw RPG under the bus. That's how this whole thing started. This guy's a disloyal basket case. I mean, is there anybody he wants? He, unstable, that's right. Very unstable. Well, it's probably because he's chowing down all these Xanax bars. I mean, you know what happens there. I do. And, you know, that's not helping the situation. But this guy... I mean, you look at all these conversations, he's trashing everybody. And he trashed RPG to that cringe mama fucking whore. And she put that out or gave that information to RPG. Which, I mean, RPG probably knew this, but, like, if somebody's trashing a ton of people to you in private, and, you know, sometimes things come up or they're frustrated about this or a situation like that, you know, that's normal. Or there's just voicing their opinion normally and you know it's not disloyal whatever in private that's one thing but if you're trashing everybody you're trashing people you're supposed to be cool with like trashing trashing and I maybe I just won't fuck with them blah, 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 blah. it's like okay well you're probably doing that in other occasions too to, including to the person you're talking to Worski's like infamous for this as well where he's trashing this person that person well, when he's talking to those people, he's trashing you. That's his modus operandi. That's how he that's how he goes about his business. And there are people like that. And they see that as advantageous to them because they're trying to play people against each other to boost themselves up. And it can't work. It can't work, but um you know, those are people you got to get out of your life, really. And um it can be your family. Yeah, you're right, MS3. I I've, um, that's not beyond the realm of possibility, uh, at all. And, um, you know, maybe you don't want to get your family complete, completely out of your life, but maybe you have to compartmentalize it and like keep it separate, you know, watch what you say. Sometimes it's like that. I know I never had that with my family. They were always super, even if we had arguments or, or whatever, we were like completely loyal to each other. So I never had to worry about that, but. Yeah, yeah, that can be a worry. That can be a worry for sure. Um, all right, now let's read this. Hoffman started spam texting me, so I blocked him in VHS archives. My dad's lawyers are handling the case. What the fuck? I didn't even know he had beef. <sighs> what? I didn't even know he had beef with those people. <laughs> what is wrong with Ultros? The A-logs are becoming worse than the Groypers. He was spam spamming me, telling me I had to tell my lawyers to listen to him. It was schizo shit. I guess he called Jaden, but I blocked their numbers. I changed my privacy on Telegram, and if need be, will go completely dark. I am done. Haven't posted publicly anywhere. Today, I went to game. This guy is a legit psycho. VH, that's according to Ultros, by the way, not me. VHS archives get gay. He says gay. <laughs> Can you see that? You fucking nut. VHS archives gay him my number. Oh, a little Freudian slip. You see that there? Oh, tough. Why is that in your phone so much that would autocorrect to that? Gave. You know, when I type gave, it doesn't rec recorrect to gay. It just actually types gave. 
typing that a lot, Vic. That learned behavior there from the AI. Oh. I can't imagine that. I can't imagine that. It does sound like a challenge. Listen, says the A-logs are becoming worse than the Groper. Sounds like a challenge. Yeah, it does. It sounds like a challenge between both teams. I think we can have a sporting sporting competition here. Put Beast to the side momentarily just to see. <laughs> just to have a test here to see. Man, I'll let's put it to the side momentarily. See who can crank it up on old Vic, the hardest and the hottest. Maybe not the hottest. He likes that probably. That's too that's too sensual. We shouldn't use that type of language around Vic. <laughs> Nah, we probably shouldn't use that type of language around Vic, but uh, well, we'll see. All right, now let's see here. This is wild. I had no idea Ultras was this disloyal. Honestly, this is mind-blowing. VHS, VHS archives gay him my phone number. Without my permission, had my privacy settings where they could see my cell phone number and direct messages. I'm pretty sure I changed it. VHS Archives gave my phone number to this guy. I think my telegram is now locked, but I'll probably be going dark. This shit is insane. Also, use a punctuation mark. Nigga, like, what the fuck? I don't need some Jewish... Wow! This is according to Victor L. Sharp the third. He calls Hoffman a Jewish terrorist, ruining his lawsuit. Jewish terrorist? That seems a little extreme. Wow. I sure hope Hoffman doesn't send that to his attorneys. Well, is that Hoffman telling him to change his handle? Well, guess what? He's right. Let's see. Incredibly obstinate that you haven't taken the simple step of changing the Ultros handle to something else. Yeah, no shit. He's not even a streamer. Hoffman's right. If I were the opposing side, my response would be, if the harassment was so bad, why didn't he even change his internet handle just once to try and escape the harassment he said was so awful? Right. He's right. You're not a fucking streamer. Just change your handle. I've had some people harassed who were supercharged who changed their handle. And I know who some of them are. They're like, hey, I changed my name. Da, da, da. I was like, yeah, I understand. They're not streamers. It's like, okay, just drop your chatter persona or whatever. Come back with a new name. They won't know who you are. If you want a super chat, super chat under a different name. They won't fucking know. Well, that's right, Oddfall. You're right. You're exactly right. He wants the clout. Yes, correct. So true. We're so back. Yes, that's true. He wants the clout, and that's why. That's exactly why. According to Ultros, Gabe Hoffman begins, begins spam texting him. I mean, it didn't really look like spam texting, honestly, but... I mean, there were a few texts, but, like, is that spam? I mean, I guess it's a few unanswered in a row, but, like, it's five texts. One of them was a typo correction. He just said spam because he wasn't saying what you wanted him to say. It's like, those are like hours apart, too. I mean, look, it's not to run defense for that guy, but like. <laughs> Ultros is psychotic is what I'm trying to say. No matter what you think about him, like, Ultros is losing his mind. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this is a guy he's supposed to be allied with, really. Like, yeah, Ultros would know spam texting, though, but. Ultras tells me VHS Archive is, quote, very close with Gabe Hoffman before calling for his death. Wait, what? Doxing his cell phone number, leaking a voicemail from him, and calling him both an unhinged K-word. What? And, quote, Puppet Master. Behind A-logs like VHS, who Ultras says Jaden's afraid of. Wow. God, this is torpedoing his relationship with Jaden in the... Oh, man. This is tough. Ultra says, I don't want to say this publicly, but beware, VHS. He, she, it is very close with Gabe Hoffman. I hope me being out of town... 
I hope me being out of town takes me off their radar. They both can die. Wow. Victor. That's not very nice. Victor, you can't say that. Oh, no. That's not cool. Oh, Victor. Hoffman's personal cell phone is blank. What? I have all his unhinged voice recordings to me saved as well. Oh? Uh? I really don't want to get involved. Yeah, of course not. Not you. You don't want to get involved in all this. You lying fuck. You absolute lying fuck. You don't want to get involved. That's all you've ever wanted to do was get involved. You don't want to get involved. Come on now. What? Since when does he not want to get involved? Sorry, I turned on the rumble stream. Oh, are you blocked on Cozy? I didn't know you were blocked on Cozy, Chuck. One of the mods must have got you. I'll unblock you. He made the PMC Feaser shirt. I've used his stuff before. I don't know why you got banned. Kringo's got a timeout, too. I'll take that off. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll unban you. For sure. I don't know how that happened. I just saw that on Rumble. He got chugged. He's unchugged now. Ultra says, I have my Twitter DMs too. VHS sent me screenshots of his convos with Gabe from like February. These people are the scum of the earth. They are worse than groipers. Well, that's like a, a defining statement if you're Ultros because, you know, he thinks, all, you know, the groipers and Ralph and Killstream fans are like insane. So. He says, in case you needed to splice audio, I don't want to talk about this clip in the mod chat because I know Jaden is afraid of these psychos. Oh, But if we want to expose Gabe Hoffman as the unhinged K-word he is, I say go for it. He is unhinged is the point. I just figured I'd give you the audio. I guarantee Gabe Hoffman is the puppet master. This doesn't excuse their behavior, but that K-word will just buy his way. What? Scary Jaden. Huh. Audio, you say? Hmm. Let's see. Let me see here. What would you say? What would you say if I told you that I that I had that recording? Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.